Scooters across America, day four, bad news. Harm has fallen and crashed. We come up upon the scene. I was stopped and somehow the rear end got loose on him and it high sighted and pitched him over. And, and um, he hit his head pretty hard. I would not get so he's not torn up, he needs but he's, he can't be driving anymore okay. today. And he needs to get checked out so he doesn't want to go to the hospital. He needs to go. He's a little altered. Yeah, the, my biggest problem is right now is he asked me a question who's the president of the United States. So you should go through all that. Yeah, he's going to go. Why can't I hear that? So, I can't stand anyone and tell me. Well, no, well, listen, yeah. you're not the ear doctor. If you're concussed, you should go be seen by the physician. Yeah. Right? You can't be your own doctor here. Do what the medic says, and we'll we're, we'll take care of the rest of this. That's prudent. Can't harm, that's prudent. You don't want to get in harm's way. The problem that really bugs me is I don't know exactly what happened. Well, that's because your bell's been rung, you know. But, yeah. you're, but you're normally not the patient, so it's a little different when you're on when you're on that side of the equation. So let's not keep these guys. They got they got other things they got to do. Let them take you to the hospital, and we got to figure we're gonna, we need to see the address of the hospital. So. Yeah, we're in Gary. The hospital is at Six and Grant, so you're about a few blocks away. Yeah, that, that's. Well, I knew I had the problem. It wasn't in my phone. So, Harm, take your ID and your helmet and go with these medics. Okay, you guys. Yeah, we'll take the rest of your stuff. I did, but I don't know if it turned out right or not. We told him where we were at. Are you guys seeing me on board? Because I don't know where we are. That's best for him, especially at his age. If he has a minor subdural bleed, he'll act like this, and all of a sudden he'll become unconscious and he'll die. And we have any way to, and, and that would have been a bad this is wrong decision on our part. Like if it was your son, or if they were a little concussed, I'd be like, eh, the more resilient. The, his, the meninges in his brain are not, he's older, so he's more fragile. So it's, it's just prudent. It's prudent. Okay. Yeah. I, you, you've been around the block. I definitely, yeah. <laughs> I get like that. For himself goes, How, why don't I know the name of the president, right? So whenever you take a lateral hit with the two hemispheres, they don't like that at all. And, that ro and that's what you get concussed from. We're real good at taking frontal hits. You can, that's why you can, the boxers do real good. They can take a hit right in the front. So that, that, that roundhouse comes right, catch them on the side. The two, way the way our brain, the two hemispheres, it shakes them up and that, and that, that, Twisting motion from getting hit on the side, like that, that snapping can break little small um, vessels. Little, there's those three layers around the brain, the meninges are called. So you get a subdural bleed or a subarachnoid bleed. That's what we're concerned about, is a bleed. I got you. Not what he is exhibiting says he took insult. What our concern is, it's like, okay, we can live with that. There's nothing we can do about that. 
the concern is, is there a bleed? The bleed wouldn't manifest as anything to do with that. The bleed would be bleeding into this confined box, so it's crushing the brain, right? Right, so right, 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 right. I get that that's a, a way bad thing you got to catch and... Right. 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 Okay. Maybe he grabbed, did he grab a bunch of front brake? He must have grabbed, just grabbed a, a handful of front brake and it somehow went out. I don't know how you end up in front of it, right? I mean, other than it's been going out. Were you already stopped? Yeah, I was stopped. Yeah, I was the across the street. He came right next to me, just right past me. Yeah. Were you guys motoring through here pretty quick? 25, 30, I saw the stop sign and pulled up on it. He was, Bob was stopped on the left. I was hitting both my brakes and I thought, boy, you know, I can't stop here unless I really, eh. so I looked left, I looked right, and I went across and I went there to wait for him. And then I heard something and I turned around and I've been a lot of I saw this stuff. Yeah, but you're coming out of Oregon State, so all the way somewhere up east. Well, we're actually right. We just started, we started it four days ago at the Gold, I mean, at the Statue of Liberty. Okay, yeah, I remember, yeah. He and then we're going to go yeah. to the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. I mean, I must admit, I drive a lot. Cause I, I, it's five of us airfares to kill us. Right, right. I mean, I've driven everywhere from Toronto all the way out, Louisiana and California, uh -huh. Oregon. Wow, that's a surprising about 16 days. Okay. Okay. So right here, we're in Gary. Yep. Yeah, I can say he's keep flying. You can see the hopper was straight that way. Uh -huh. Yeah. 30. Well, my car, 30 seconds away. So. I just, you, you, know, you have a phone conversation with Gil? Right. Yeah, to I did. I told him right, right, right where we were. Okay. You know, um, uh -oh. So Mike Gil's thing is, it's right. showing me and I'm you showing you. You see Gil coming? But I, you know, I, 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 I work at a house. Right? I have help. He right. told me he's not going to do it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Why do I have a baby? He said they don't work for one. Do I know something?